Praise the Lord, viewers. Welcome to our brief Bible reflection as we look at John chapter 17, verse 1 to 5. I'll read verse 1 to 3 as we encourage one another. After Jesus said this, he looked toward heaven and prayed, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son, that your son may glorify you. For you granted him authority over all the people that he might give eternal life to all those you have given him. Now, this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. What a prayer. This is Jesus praying for his disciples. And he's praying and longing that they may have an intimate knowledge of God. We are likely to assume that because he had spent some time with the disciples, they knew him, they knew God. In fact, they knew him as the true God. But look at the prayer that Jesus Christ is offering. That this is eternal life. That is verse number three. This is eternal life that they may know you. The only true God and Jesus Christ, your son, the one you have sent. This prayer helps us to see that, yes, there is no single moment we will say we have known God in totality. It is a daily desire, a daily commitment to desire to know God and to learn of his will. The second thing we are learning is that Jesus is praying that they may know him as the only true God. In the world we are in, in the life that we are in, we are likely to be, you know, introduced to things that look like they mean everything in our lives. But Jesus wants us to know that it is only the true God who means everything in us because he's our creator, he's our God, he's our sustainer, that we, that we may know him as the only true God. Anything else presented to you, it is not true. That is not God. We are only supposed to know God as the only true God. And number three, Jesus prays that they may also get to know Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. That is in verse number three. He is our savior. Jesus has come that he may uh, give us eternal life. And he's praying that we may know him. He who was sent here on earth to come and redeem us from the pit of death, that we may know him. And it is a good question to ask ourselves, brothers and sisters. Do we know God? Do we desire to know God? Do we endeavor to know God in our daily endeavors, in our daily engagements? Do we, do we desire to know him? This is a call to an intimate uh, relationship with God, to a personal commitment to God, to a personal dedication to God that you may get to know him as God, as, as the true God, and the only true God in your life. And as Jesus prays this, it is a clear reminder to us that we are called to connect with him, he who was sent here on earth, he who brings and who gives eternal life. And one day he starts with the, that, 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 that phrase, that this is eternal life, that they may know you. This is eternal life, that they may know you. It is a good reminder my brother, my sister, that Jesus desires that you know God. Jesus desires that you get intimate with him. Jesus desires that you may desire also to walk, to live, you know, to go about your life in a way that you glorify God. In verse number four, he says, I have brought you glory on earth by finishing the work you gave me to do. He desires that we may bring glory to God in all what we do. And at the end of it all, that we may be the kind of people the Lord expects of us. And he prays this now, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory I had with you before the world began. Remember who we were in Genesis. Until Genesis chapter 3, the fall of man. We had a special position in God. And so this is why Jesus Christ is crying and groaning in himself that, that God, they may know you. Not only knowing you, 
but you as the only true God. My friend, the disciples had spent time with Jesus Christ, but Jesus did not assume that now they knew God in totality. He still had to pray this prayer. Let us not get into that comfort zone, assuming that now we know God, assuming that now we know it all. No, we still don't know. We, desire, we need to desire on a daily basis to grow from one level to the other, that at the end of our journey here on earth, we may finish well, that God may be glorified in our lives and that we may receive eternal life. Do you know God? That you may know him in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.